this is the hunting idol that the sniper has given me. I'm mainly concerned with this IAC position, opening and closing, opening and closing, to try to keep the idol. See my temperature? It's not fully warmed up yet, but it seems to get worse as it fully warms up. TPS will always stay zero. That will never change unless I actually depress the throttle. I've got my hot idle set for my IAC to be open about 5%. See that motor? IAC motor just popping in and out, in and out. Here's my wiring. IAC motor wiring. Comes down to the main harness. My plug wires are all the way down here by the header. This is ECU wiring right here. ECU fuse, ignition coil, fuel pump relays. That's the distributor. The only thing going past that, this is my power wire for the ECU. This is all ECU wiring here. I don't know if there's electrical interference or not. But I know if I unplug this IAC, it stops bouncing, obviously. Then I've got my perfect, perfect rock solid idol. To make things worse, when my engine's actually hot, and I'm driving the car, or parked actually, this IAC out of nowhere will start jumping up to 90, 80, 70, 100% out of nowhere. So that raises my RPMs to anywhere between 11, 1200, all the way to 2000. And you can just imagine how hard it is to keep this thing stopped at a stoplight with the brake pedal when your motor's idling at 2,000 RPM for no reason. Again, this is IAC unplugged. You see here? It's given a percent because the computer's trying to control the IAC right now to steady the idle. But realistically, this is as smooth as this Holly gets. That's as smooth as it gets, that bouncing right there. For me anyway, on this on this seven liter motor. I'm happy with this. If it bounces that much, I'm happy. Again, this is unplugged, so this is irrelevant right now. But as you can see, and here, I mean, she's purring like a, like a sewing machine. And that's how it should be. So again, here's my wiring. I got my distributor, my coil is in there. I got the wiring for the ECU here. But really, only, the only thing that comes over here is my power wire for the ECU. It comes up this way to my battery. The rest of everything goes back to the main harness, up to the IAC. And again, my plug wires are all down below my valve cover, way down by the header. And here we go again. It's got a perfect idle right now. 
Let's plug this bad boy in. There we go, that's about the 100%, 90% jolt I'm talking about. There we go, you hear that? Again, at every spike, you'll notice my TPS stays zero. For some reason, this ECU is commanding this IAC to just jump out of control. There we go, 78% out of nowhere. I've got, I mean, there's no accessories on. Wipers off, AC's off, radio's off. I got nothing going on in here. You guys hear that? That's past 1200 RPMs right there. My alternator is way on this side of the engine. All the alternator wiring is over here. The charging wires, everything's on this side for the alternator. I've got no ECU wires on this side of the car. not hunting it's a solid idle that's what I'm not getting with the IAC plugged in Why, why is it doing this? Why is it hunting? I've reset the ECU, I've started wizard over.
I see what's happening. When I when I unplug the IAC at the high idle, the stepper motor gets stuck there. So it's letting that extra air in. So I kind of need to unplug it when it's at zero percent IAC. There you go. I tried to unplug that when the IAC motor was at zero percent, so the needle was pushed in. And there you go. There, there's my solid idle again. Closed IAC. I got my tar target RPM set for about 780 or 750 right in there somewhere. But again, like I said, this is the smoothest it will ever be on this sniper on this seven liter motor. So I'm happy with this. My problem is I can't get the damn IAC to work in conjunction with itself and the ECU. Show you the caddy. She's long. She's bagged, full air ride. She lays frame. Comments or questions, guys, let me know. Thank you.